A group under the auspices of Kaduna State Alliance Against Terrorism has called on the People's Democratic Party PDP Kaduna State Governorship candidate Isa Shiro to step down from the race and allow the candidates tackle the insecurity confronting the state. Speaking at a press conference in Kaduna State, the chairman of the group says despite the declaration of the criminal element as terrorists by President Muhammad Buhari, the candidates continue to call them bandits. He said Kaduna State, like other northern Nigerian state, is still nursing the bruises caused by activities of terrorist element, which have adversely affected numerous businesses. They demanded that security agencies and other relevant authorities investigate Hashiro for supporting negotiations with Bandit publicly during a live TV program. A group, African Parliamentary Advocacy and Reform Group, advised Nigerians to take parliamentary elections seriously and ensure credible lawmakers are voted into Senate and the House of Representatives. The group observed that for some time, uh, parliamentary elections have always been conducted in the shadow of the executive during the period of elections. Now, the report. Team lead Chibuzo Okereke observed that parliamentary elections, which are supposedly the symbol of democracy, is oftentimes neglected during the build-up to the general elections, and this year is no exception. According to the recent representative of Conrad Adenoa Stiftung in Nigeria, Maria Peten, the training is to ensure that the media is well prepared for the coming elections. She said the election is a defining moment for the survival of the country, judging from fillers and the body language of the political actors. Her position was supported by the Director General, National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies, Professor Abubaka Suleiman, who said the training could not have come at a better time. He commended the media for its role of holding the government accountable. Strong media coverage is needed to reflect the legislative work that's going to happen. And I just said this much is at stake because the next four years will shape, of course, the direction that the Nigerian democracy is leaning towards. So we all know that there is no proper democracy without a proper functioning media. And one of the mandates of the Konrad Adenauer Stiftung is to support all democratic institutions. The media is better placed to set the agenda for public discussion on critical issues, especially in the build-up to the elections. Additionally, the media should facilitate community and nation building by helping people find common causes and work toward practical solutions to the problems confronting Nigerians regardless of which part of the country they are from or which part of the country they live in. Facilitators too participants through historical perspective on salient issues about the democratic advancement in the country. There can be alternative views or alternative narratives called marginal narratives. Such marginal narratives may be representative of the majority of the people, but because they do not enjoy wide acceptability, if you like, or exposure in the media, then they may be suppressed. It is the duty of journalists of conscience that you are to ensure that marginal narratives are put impartially in the public space with a view to helping voters to do a good comparative analysis. Chairman of the House of Representatives Press Corps, Grace E.K., thanked the organizers for the training and retraining of parliamentary reporters in different fields of reportage. As political and parliamentary correspondents, or if you like journalists, I believe this training will go a long way in preparing us ahead of this crucial national assignment of covering the 2023 general elections. Secondly, the redesign, or I would say the new Naira note, is a very topical issue today because it has affected Nigerians across board and choosing it as one of the topics to be discussed here is timely and quite commendable. A workshop for the journalists, a useful tips on how to ensure stability in the country, as well as a free, fair and credible election through their reportage. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.